Today on Baking Bread, we'll be making Croatia's national loaf and finding out what the different layers tell us about this nation's identity and the role it played in the fragmentation of the Balkans. I'm Georg Mattes and I'm a European correspondent, but I also love to bake. So here's some food for thought from Croatia. This complex looking loaf actually starts off very simply with just three ingredients. 60 milliliters of milk, four grams of yeast, and 90 grams of bread flour. Mix them well and leave them to rise overnight. Now the pre-dough's risen, you need to start on your main dough, which is a bit more complex in its makeup. In fact, it's as tricky as trying to ascertain where pokacha actually comes from. Croatians, Serbs, Macedonians, Slovenians, all former Yugoslavians claim this loaf as their own. For this Croatian version, mix 120 milliliters of lukewarm water with 310 grams of plain flour and 215 grams of bread flour. Then add the pre dough, plus 10 grams of fresh yeast, 45 milliliters of sunflower oil, 75 grams of natural yogurt, two eggs, seven grams of salt, and 10 grams of sugar. Knead the mixture well and place it in a bowl greased with sunflower oil. Cover it and leave to rise for 45 minutes. I'm willing to do that. To do that, I have a courage to do it. And courage is what Croatia's Prime Minister Plenković needs for the next step. Divide the dough into five pieces. As we saw during the wars of the 90s, splitting things up in the Balkans is never easy. This is something we don't market widely, but these are the facts. So don't just judge this by eye. You need one ball weighing precisely 300 grams and four balls of 175 grams each. Next, roll them out and stack them on top of each other like the Croatian flag. It combines the colors of the flags of the kingdoms of Croatia, Slavonia and in part of Dalmatia. The fourth layer is of course the EU with Croatia being its youngest member. Now roll out the dough. Take a pastry wheel and make several clean and precise cuts. This is something I cannot do. Of all the former Yugoslav republics, Croatia has the most disputes with neighboring countries, including Bosnia-Herzegovina, Serbia, Montenegro, and especially fellow EU member state, Slovenia. The two nations have been quarreling over a few square kilometers of coastline in the Gulf of Piran, a small strip like this. Once you have about 20 thin pieces, roll each of them up like you would a necktie, the most famous and stylish invention ever to come out of Croatia. During the Thirty Years' War, in the early 17th century, Croatian soldiers wore red cravats as part of their uniform. Next, grease a springform tin and place your compact little bundles around the ball of dough in the center. Leave them to rise for around 45 minutes. Whisk an egg and glaze the top of the dough. Then bake the whole loaf for 30 minutes at 220 degrees Celsius. And your porcaccia is ready to eat. A bread that's as rich, ornate and multi-layered as the Republic of Croatia itself. Thanks for watching and if you're hungry for more bread recipes, click here.